Sharp Latest, welcome to First Shift. I'm reporting from Chicago where Automotive News has just announced the best dealerships to work for in 2022. Take a listen to what some of the winners had to say. It was an exciting night as a number of dealerships were recognized for being the best to work for. The dealership categories were sorted by small, medium, and large, which was based off the number of employees in its workforce. The top three for each of the categories were invited on stage. From there, the winner from each of the dealership categories was announced and received a trophy. Larry H. Miller Hyundai Peoria in Arizona was handed an award for being the number one winner overall and the number one large dealership winner. Last year, Asbury Automotive Group purchased the fast-growing dealership with the mindset, if it ain't broke, don't fix it which is a rule the general manager has been mindful of as he runs the show. We've worked hard to try to be good in all of these categories, not because it was an award, but because you know these were things that are important to how we run our dealerships. But to get all of the awards and then get to the end of it and say, hey, you're the best, I, I, how much greater does it get than that? We work together. We, 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 we care enough about each other. You know, we, we make sure that they have great schedules, great pay. Uh, we believe that uh, in, Happy employees keep happy customers. That's it. As for the number one medium rank dealership, the award went to DCH Milburn Audi in Maplewood, New Jersey. Even though the dealership is part of Lithia Motors' growing empire, they say they want the staff to feel like they are working for a family-run business. They do this by nurturing the staff with tuition payments, guided onboarding, and rewards. I have an open door policy. I'm always looking for suggestions to make things better for the employees, to better help them throughout, throughout their day, uh, to make things easier for them in order for them to be successful in the workplace. Lastly, Acura in Turnsville in New Jersey walked away with the award for number one small dealership. The dealership employees say staying committed to their staff and knowing everyone on a first name basis has helped them maintain a low turnover rate. I mean, we work hard, obviously, but we try to treat everybody well and uh, be optimistic all the time and just try to give everybody the flexibility to get the most out of the, you know, their job and uh, still enjoy their free time and their family. Whether or not a dealership went home with the top award, everyone was able to take part in the night celebrations, celebrating the fact they were named to the list. However, the awards didn't stop there. Dealerships were also recognized for other categories such as diversity, equity, and inclusion, Hispanic employees, and healthiest. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.